Okay, they've changed over. Second runner's up. Remember, toes forward, Sandy. Flex the knees and shift the weight onto the balls of your feet. Good. Third runner's up. Arm back, hand out. Don't twist around like a corkscrew. What are you going to do? Run that way? Okay, last person's out. She's coming towards you. She's almost there. Sandy! Your dad's on the phone. He says it's important. I uh, Tell him I can't come now. Focus, Sandy. She's almost at the mark. And... Now! Ned! It's still too slow. In this race, it's not just you out there. You've got responsibility to three other girls. Get that clear. No change. Excellent. Good. Okay. Good. Okay. Good. Front. I can't believe it. You got that last combination almost perfect. And because you've been so good, I've got something for you. Gardener found it. Tats, I'm sorry about the interview and everything. Get it, it wasn't your fault. And come on, let's do it one more time, and this time let's really feel that rhythm. Hello, good shot. Oh, on the line. Hello, uh, Frank and Helen. Yeah, uh, get some back on a shot. Right <laughs> but please. <laughs> All right, my sir. All right, now, you say. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Well, Sandy, the boss wants to see you. In his office? I only know what your mother told me on the phone, Sandy. Your father was arrested this afternoon. But why? What was he supposed to have done? I'm not sure. Uh, something to do with missing funds. Your mother's sure it's all a mistake? She was hoping to get it all cleared up without having to worry you, but uh, the cameras were at the court and she wanted you to know before you heard it somewhere else. Where is he now? I'm afraid he's in jail. But he can't be. It's not for long. Your mum's been flat out all day organising the bail money to get him out. That's why she couldn't come now. <sighs> but he'll get out of jail and then everything will be all right. Oh, yeah. Um... I've, I've got to go. I've got to finish an assignment. Oh, I hope everything's going to be all right. So do I, but I'm not counting on it. Frank Fricker, 48, was taken from his office at the Westside Foundation this morning by police. He appeared before the magistrate charged with 47 counts of fraud. Fricker's passport was confiscated and bail has been set at $50,000. It's not yet It's got to be Sandy's dad. How many frickers can there be? $210,000, which disappeared from the high profile charity dedicated to the care of homeless children. But what is known is that it's $210,000 the kids needed. What a low act. The old scumbag. What are we going to say to her? Don't say anything. Just pretend we don't know. Can't just ignore it. If anything, she needs our support. Support? <laughs> like what? Hi, Sandy. Sorry about your old man being a crim. Cut it out, you two. Look, this could really stuff it up for Sandy. <laughs> you reckon they'll ask her to leave? <laughs> Sandy's old man is a crook. Not Sandy. Yeah, still doesn't look good. Well, we still haven't decided. What are we going to say to her? Well, we don't know he is a crook. He hasn't been found guilty or anything. Yeah. Even if he is found guilty, so what? It's not Sandy's fault. Sandy. Sandy, I'm really sorry about that stuff with your dad. It must be awful. What are you going to do? 
Nothing I can do. All I'm saying is that I'm worried about the effect that this is going to have on her. She's a loner, Don, and highly strung at that. A combination which makes for good sprinters, in my experience. Yeah, sure. But she's got the 4x100 relay trials coming up. And so far in training, she's stuffed up every changeover really badly. And now this business with her father. So, what do you want to do about it? <sighs> Pull her out of the race. Tape her training. Take the pressure off. <sighs> Is that to make her feel better or you? Hand. 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 Let's do it again. Gee, sorry your dad's in jail, Sandy. Must be awful. The police and everything. Do you have to get questions and stuff? No. Did he give you lots of the money? Is that why you got such nice clothes and uh, jewelry? Maybe we should go to the wall. training, but I can eat a horse. Hi, Sandy. How was training this morning? I put too much buffer, my friend. Bella, you're doing great, my son. Yes, you've got it. Bella, you know what? It's the vision of the it's just that I've never had to raise a large amount of money just like that. You can't imagine how difficult it is. Sandy. Oh, darling, I'm so sorry I wasn't here when you found out. It's just that, well, your father's always been the one to look after the money and, well... No, it's okay, Mum. <sighs> it's obviously just some terrible mistake. They're going to have to apologise publicly when we sort it all out. He's an innocent man. What if he's not, Mum? I mean, what if he really did take that money? He's always buying me things. Clothes, shoes, CDs. That's an awful thing to say. Your father's always worked hard for everything he's got. We've got... Maybe we don't know him as well as we think. I would have thought he'd get more support from his own daughter. We obviously won't be able to keep Sandy on here. What with the legal costs and everything, there just won't be the money for the coaching fees, board, travel. Maybe we can come to some arrangement. No, we'll have to move away. We couldn't possibly stay here, not after what's happened. I'll try and find a way for Sandy to stay. I'd hate to lose her. Mrs. Fricker, it's alleged your husband took more than $200,000. Do you know what he did with the money? It was a mistake. Don't answer them, Mum. Just go to the car. It, it's Sandy, isn't it? Sandy, how do you feel about the charges laid against your father? Go inside, Sandy. You've got training. Mr. Majors, doesn't this scandal reflect badly on the Academy? A prize athlete at a government-funded institution on money stolen from homeless kids. I've always had the old-fashioned idea that people are innocent until proven guilty, Miss Mannix. Did something change when I wasn't looking? Come on, let's go. Hey. Yeah, I'll get it for you. <laughs> Thanks. That was... That was a really nice thing that you did with Sandy at breakfast this morning. Yeah, I don't know if it worked too well, though. No, I don't know why. It was still nice. And Tom. What? I shouldn't have spoken to you the way that I did the other day. You know, after the Layla business. I just wasn't handling it. Well, there's nothing going on between me and Jenny, okay? I mean, nothing. 
I mean, there never really was. It's none of my business anyway. It just really got to me. That's all. Pets, I've got no interest in Jenny. I want you to know that. We who are so fortunate in our daily lives must make a commitment to the welfare of these children, homeless children, abandoned in such tragic circumstances. Frank Fricker was released on bail today. His trial in the county court set for August. Only then will we really know what was behind these allegations. Have the Westside Foundation trustees made a mistake? Or is Mr. Fricker abandoned by the children he fought to protect? Stay it out of it, Snowy. Leave me alone. Following the vicious moment of a four-year-old girl by Terry. Joe Marley, keep going! Keep that acceleration! Sandy, this is a bad time for you, but if you can't keep your mind off your troubles, then let me know now and I'll pull someone else in. You've got a practice cop against Eastern Districts tomorrow and we have to win. You think about that. How's it going? Sandy, I've been thinking about what your mother was saying. The fact is, the Academy doesn't want to lose you. Yeah, well, tell Greg that. You're in here because we happen to think you're pretty good at what you do. Greg included. I've been talking to the board. We might be able to find some money for a scholarship. Now, a full scholarship will cover tuition and board, coaching and extras, the lot. You won't have to worry about a thing. Um, I don't think I could take it, boss. Sandy, I don't care what your dad did or was meant to have done. Well, I do, but that's a different issue. The point is, you didn't do it. It's not your fault. See you there. Forget it, you're not the only one who thinks I am an inanimate object. So, more trouble in paradise. Is there something he said? Who? Daniel. A sensitive new age partner. Ex-partner. Oh, I see. We certainly are living in interesting times.
Sunny. Shoes, Fricka. Daddy ripped them off a street kid for you, did he? What the hell would you know? Hey! Touchy out. What's going on? Sandy? Running away is not gonna help. Not running? <laughs> That's not what it looks like for me. You won, didn't you? Got angry. Anyway, it's not the point. So you get angry more often. Who cares how you win or what it takes to win? So what's the point of running? Well, how would you like it if everyone was pointing and staring at you and blaming you for, for what? What are they blaming you for? For my father taking that money. No, they're not. You are. Crap! I got some of it, didn't I? I got things those kids should have had. That makes me guilty too. No, it doesn't. I don't think so. The Don doesn't. No one here does. The girl from the other team does. A oh, big deal. She's only pissed off because you beat her. Anyway, you shouldn't let that get your work done. It gets to me. I don't know what to think anymore. I don't know why he did it. Or if he did it at all. Have you asked him? Why don't you give him a ring? I hardly think it's something you discuss over the phone. Well, go and see him then. My father's not the most approachable person. Why not? Because he never looks at you, he never listens, and he's always too busy. I don't think he's going to be all that busy right now. Why don't you give it a go? Your father told me all about it. You were right. It's true. We're going to have to sell everything. Where is he? Sandy. I'm sorry I didn't take your call the other day. I just uh, wanted to tell you before um, your mother's very upset. I know. She's uh, worried about what people will uh, say and. Uh, Think, oh, sweetheart. I'm so sorry. I, I didn't mean to do anything so wrong. It wasn't so much at first. It's it just small amounts. Everyone we knew had nice houses and nice things. I, I just wanted nice things for you and, and, and your mother. I only did it for you. I just want to make you happy. I never asked for any of those things. Not any of them. But... No, Dad. You needed the money. Not me. I didn't make you do it. I think you should stop acting like I did. I I'm not. I only wanted to give you nice things. Because I was so proud of you. Well, all you had to do was say it. 
I never knew you noticed what I did, much less what you thought. I never knew you were proud of me. All I ever knew is how busy you were and how important you were. How you were never there. Didn't I ever tell you? No, Dad, never. I must have, surely. What I'm telling you now, I'm very, very proud of you. I always have been. Just pick the stupid way of showing it. What's going to happen now? Not sure, really. There'll, there'll be a trial, of course. We'll have to talk about a few things. Your future. I know. But now I've, I've got to get back. Um, <clears throat> I'm not even supposed to be here. What, do you want a lift? No, I'm fine. Thanks. Let me. Uh, Big races coming up, or...? Four by 100 metre relay next week. Can I come and watch it, cheer you on? No, no of course, I'd, I'd understand if you, you didn't want me there. No, it, it's, it's not that. Um, actually, um, I'd really like it if you did come. <laughs> 